The eleventh most common question is that we Muslims, we are against idol worship, then why do we Muslims worship the Kaaba? Kaaba is only our Qibla, that is the direction. We Muslims, we do not bow down to the Kaaba. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 144. al Masjid al Haram. Then turn thy face to the sacred mosque. For example, if we Muslims we want to offer salah, some might say let's face towards the north, some might say let's face towards the south, some might say let's face towards the east, some might say let's face towards the west. So for the sake of unity, we Muslims, we face towards the Kaaba. And Kaaba is only a Qibla, that's the direction. And Ali Idrusi, 1154, he drew the world map. And the South Pole was on top and the North Pole was down. And the Kaaba was in the center. Later on, the Western cartographers came and they turned the map upside down. North Pole top, South Pole down. Yet, Alhamdulillah, the Kaaba is yet in the center. So wherever you are, if you are in the north, you face towards the south. If you are in the south, you face towards the north. If you are in the east, you face towards the west. If you are in the west, you face towards the east. And when we Muslims, we go for Hajj and Umrah, why do we circumambulate around the Kaaba? Because it is the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. But the logical reason that I can think of is that every circle has got one center. So we testify that there's only one God who's worthy of worship. And the statement of Hadrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, the second caliph of Islam. It is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 2, book of Hajj, chapter number 56, hadith number 675. Hadrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Inni a'lamu annaka hajar, la tadurru wa la tanfa, lawla anni ru'aytun nabiyya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yuqabbiluk, ma qabbaltuk. Hadad Umar pointed to the black stone, says that I know that you are a black stone and can neither benefit me nor harm me. Had I not seen Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kiss you, I would have not kissed you. So the statement is sufficient to prove that we Muslims, we do not worship the Kaaba. And those Sahabas at the time of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they even stood on the Kaaba and gave the Adhan. Which idol worshipper will ever stand on the idol he worships? So this is sufficient to prove that we Muslims, we do not bow down to the Kaaba.